Hi guys, welcome to my packing vlog. This is actually take three of my packing vlog because um, the first time I filmed it, you couldn't see anything from here up. I just kept adding things to my little stack that I have here. Um, and the second time I filmed it, you couldn't see anything from here up. So we made progress. Hopefully now you can see a little more. I'm really praying I don't have to do this fourth time. So I'm just going to kind of go over, since I've already packed a large majority, like 99% of the things I'm bringing, um, I'm just going to go over what I have packed. I'm going to link my packing list in the description box uh, so that people who would like to see specifically what I packed can have it. Um, there's some things that I had to adjust to it because uh, based on space and weight. Um, I am only able to ch bring one checked bag because we're not flying southwest so I don't get the free two checked bags. So I only get to check, check one. Uh, and this also isn't the largest size that you can bring to check. Uh, so let it be known, it is possible to pack four months worth of clothing in a semi-large, in one semi-large suitcase. This is 99% of, in fact, it's like 99.9999% of the clothes that I'm wearing in this one suitcase. And there's no space bags or anything. That's all the clothes are just rolled up nice and tight. Well, as tight as I can get them. Um, so I'm having to lean because if I, I'm trying to get everything in the frame. Anyway, so w what I have in here is, um, uh, I've got casual clothes, business clothes, workout clothes, um, you know, undergarments, all that stuff. But, um, I've got more tank tops in here than anything else just because it's Florida and it's hot. So, and I, I tried to stick with the looser um, fitted, like not, I didn't want the super tight fitted tank tops because when I wear something tight, it's super hot. And when I get hot, I sweat. And then when I sweat in something tight fitted, it just gets really uncomfortable for me. So loose fitted is, was the way to go. And then I've got like, I've got less short sleeve shirts since I am gonna be there during the time that it's warm a large majority of the time. It's not like people who go to the fall program where it's you've got like winter where it does get cold. Uh, so if you are packing for the fall program, bring more warm clothing than I am because you're gonna have more cool days. Uh, so yeah, less short sleeve shirts. At, for warm stuff, I only have two pairs of pants, uh, two, long bleh, two long sleeve shirts and four jackets, uh, two hoodies, one pullover hoodie and one zip up hoodie. Uh, and then I have one of those jackets that's like the in-between for fall and winter where it's not quite cold enough to wear a winter jacket, but it's not quite warm enough to just wear a light jacket. So that should be good for like the cold nights. And then I'm also gonna bring my windbreaker from working as a lifeguard because uh, that's the closest thing I have to a rain jacket. But if you have a rain jacket, bring that. But that's the closest I have. So, but all those jackets are going in the carry-on due to weight. Um, so they're not in here. Uh, and then I have like workout slash lounge clothes. So stuff to just wear around the apartment. So I've got a couple lounge shirts like I think three or four lounge shirts and then two pairs of athletic shorts one to wear and then one to wear when I have like laundry day or something and then uh, I have like seven pairs of sport, seven sports bras um, and then I've got five summer dresses two of them are like swimsuit cover-ups but they work as dresses so I've got that for dresses and then I've got a romper that's like a, the shorts romper um, I think those are nice for hot weather. And then for business clothes, I have one business dress and it's a wool dress. And I know that sounds crazy for hot weather, but it's the only dress I have that 
won't wrinkle in the suitcase um, because I don't have anything fancy like a garment bag or anything so this will have to do. And then I also have a pencil skirt and it's gray so it goes with most things and I have four business shirts. Keep in mind that for business shirts that might be shared because I have a couple that are, your shirt underneath has to be either a short sleeve shirt or a tank top that's a full hands width. Some people say four, some people say three, but I've heard of people who've gotten in trouble for having anything more, anything narrower than a hands width. So I'm going with that just to be safe. So keep that in mind for sheer business casual tops. So I did that so that I can mix and match and all that good stuff. I didn't bring pants because it's Florida. And I, I don't like pants anyway for business. Anyway, and then I also have a, a cardigan for if I'm inside. My legs don't get cold inside, but my upper body does. So the cardigan will be good for class days when I have to be inside in the air conditioning. And then uh, I have four pairs of shorts uh, that are good for mixing and matching outfits. So I've got a couple that are like, that can be, some, that are a little bit nicer and then a couple that are just casual. I've got a denim pair and then like a, I want to call them cargo, but they're not really cargo, but you get the idea. Uh, and then, what else is in here? Three skirts. One skirt that is a crossover of dressy and casual because uh, it's the right length and like it's a nice material. Um, but it can also work. It just depends on the top you put with it, basically. And then two that are just casual that I would wear out to the parks or out and about. Not very many pajamas, a couple shorts and a couple t-shirts. Uh, and then I have one pair of swimsuit bottoms. They're like the bikini bottoms. And then two bikini tops that go with the bottoms. And then I have one one-piece suit. And I don't... I only own one one piece and it's from when I was a lifeguard so if I if you're one of my program mates um, and you're a lifeguard with me don't get mad at me for wearing this guard suit because <laughs> it's the only one piece I had and I didn't want to go out and buy one so don't think I'm that person that wanted to show off that they've already been a lifeguard because I'm not that person I swear I'm not um, so but that's what I have um, if you have another one piece, go for it, wear it, but that's all I have. So I'm bringing that and then of course undergarments. Um, and so for socks, um, I didn't have to be too picky with them because my job doesn't require me to wear socks. Uh, but I did bring some ankle socks and some no-show socks, uh, both white and black. I can't remember if I have any nude in there or not, but... And I think that's it for this suitcase. So if you didn't find it on my packing list, I hope I caught it in this video. On to the carry-on. I'm not going to bring it over here. I'm just going to tell you what's in there because there's not a lot. It's just my shoes. My shoes are at the bottom. Um, I was able to fit a couple pair in here. Uh, I have a pair of pink sandals and my dress flats. And that may be it in here. And then the rest of my shoes are in there. Uh, don't judge me for the amount of shoes I brought. I just wanted to be prepared. Uh, the flats in here are like my dressy flats. That'll be for my uh, business casual days. Then I have another pair of flats in there that are a little less dressy. And I'm talking fast because I can see in the mirror that my battery is flashing. Uh, so I'm going to try and get through this quickly. I have my blanket in there for the flights. Oh, I forgot to keep going over my shoes. So my less dressy flats, um, two pair of flip-flops, one dressy, one less dressy, and then uh, my knockoff Converse that I have um, for like a casual closed toed shoe. And I think that's it for shoes. I have my blanket in there because my bed set that I ordered from Walmart isn't going to get there till a week and a half later, so I have to bring a set of sheets and my blanket to tide me over and then my jackets are going to be in there too. Uh, and my backpack is going to go all my work documents and 
um, school supplies. I'm going to bring a journal, uh, my Bible, my Bible notebook or devotional notebook or whatever, and then a regular school notebook, a folder um, to put, to carry, to check in, because I've heard those are good to have. And um, my purse is going to go in there with my wallet and all that stuff. Um, and I think that covers it for in there. And then I have like some pills that I have to take with me. And I think that's it for that. If I missed it, it's in the packing list. Uh, and then obviously toiletries, makeup, face wash, uh, contacts, glasses, sunglasses, deodorant, all that good stuff for, for toiletries. And I think that covers it for my packing vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I answered some questions. If not, feel free to leave them in the comment section and make sure you subscribe, like, do all that fun stuff for this video so that you can catch more, more to come. So thank you for watching and again I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next vlog tomorrow which is traveling! Yay! Remember, dreams come true.